Hi everybody, I'm Silvia Cosso, I'm a senior research analyst um, at IDC for Western Europe and I'm here to talk you um, through the evolution of the storage market um, in Western Europe. So, to begin, here I plotted what is this uh, latest quarter um, storage market for the external storage market in Western Europe. And I plotted here the five top five players in the external um, market. As you can see, there's a bit of up and down usual stuff in terms of market shares. But the main thing that I want to highlight here is, first of all, what is going to happen after the Dell EMC um, acquisition, as um, Giorgio mentioned. As you can see here from the market shares, the new entity, uh, Dell EMC, is going to account about roughly 30% of the storage external market, which is a, about a third, which is a huge um, market share um, gain, a bit of consolidation, I would say. So, apart from this thing, the second main thing that you can notice is how uh, the year-over-year -year trend um, went on. We have a may minus 12% year-over-year in uh, US dollar terms. So, which are the main causes? Uh, if you remember, uh, in 2Q 2015, um, we had some um, negative factors uh, from the macroeconomic point of view impacting the market. So we have, first of all, we have um, uh, exchange rate volatility, we have the Greek uh, turmoil going on, and also we had the embargo in Russia. All these factors obviously had a huge impact on the storage market. However, the legitimate question is, is it only this going on or is something else going on? Well, now after having um, listened to uh, Tom and Giorgio, you probably imagine that yes, we do believe that there is something um, else uh, going on. And obviously this is linked to the third platform. So, as you heard, storage, the storage market, the data center market, is going towards the third platform. But what does it mean in practice? So, which are the legitimate questions that we can ask? each other. So who are the new clients? Which systems are they buying? In which environment will be IT deployed in the future? When this will happen? And will, uh, why the IT environment is changing, obviously, and how purchases are being made? Is there, is there any change in all of these questions compared to the situation um, that we had before? So starting from the first question, so where? Where um, IT is going to be deployed? So here I plotted um, both the storage hardware and the storage software market all together. And I divided it by um, deployment. So um, you have um, in a dark blue the traditional IT market. Traditional IT market, the old um, enterprise data center that we all know and love. Then we have the private cloud on-premise in light blue. Then we have the off-premise um, part of the cloud, which is public cloud and private cloud of premise. So as you can see here, the main thing, the main staggering <coughs> thing is how huge is the proportion the cloud is going to take in the, um, in the foreseeable future. So by 2019, 60% of the deployment will be cloud oriented. This is in capacity, not in... Uh, no, no, this is in value. This is in revenue. This is, yes, this is in revenue, yeah. 60% of revenue will go towards the cloud. Um, overall, which is basically double of what is going now at the current, at the present time. So, so what is the percentage now? Uh, about 30%. Um, it was 29% 20, in 2014, and then it's 30 to 35 ish percent in 2015. Obviously, 2015 is still forecast for half, so we, we stop in 2015 Q2 as a general data. So yes, uh, as, you, as I can see from, from, from your expression, this is a staggering, a staggering thing going on. Um, apart from this, which are the dynamics that this, um, the, this cloud revolution um, will produce? These dynamics are summarized, well summarized by the question who? Who are the main vendors, who are the client uh, landscape and the vendor landscape? How they are going to change? So, as um, you can imagine, the traditional IT is obviously um, dominion of the enterprise data center, the enterprise data center that we all know. However, even this traditional IT is being eroded by private cloud on-premise. And overall, <coughs> apart from the traditional data center, which is covering obviously the private cloud on-premise, there is this service provider hyperscale data center, new client landscape, taking 
also a big chunk of the new um, cloud growth. What does it mean in terms of vendors? It means that part of the traditional IT is obviously the OEM leg market, uh, incumbent vendors, new vendors, for example, new flash players vendors. But then on the public cloud, especially in the public cloud, here is lot of private, um, private off-premise and private cloud, um, it's going to be ODM led market. It doesn't mean all ODM led market, but a good chunk of sales. I'm switching now to the why. Why this cloud um, environment is going to change the market? Because we have uh, different applications. Here I plotted just an application families, both um, cloud native and other non cloud native. And how are they uh, behaving towards the cloud? So um, we have, for example, backup and disaster recovery, obviously, going already um, a bit um, into public cloud, private cloud. We have um, business processing databases, for example, decision support, um, including um, the new um, workload types like Internet of Things, um, analytics, big data, and so on. And all of these, uh, in 2015, arrived at, to cover um, traditional being covered, I would say, mainly by traditional IT, although not only by traditional IT, with private cloud and public cloud coming over um, to grab um, a portion of that. But the, the real thing is that 2019, so in 2019, this proportion will be completely swapped. So we will have public cloud, which will uh, reach higher importance in, um, in application time, obviously also because of the weight of uh, cloud native ones taking over. Um, in traditional IT remaining, um, being eroded by the cloud environment. So switching to the next question, what? What I mean for what is which systems are going to be sold in this um, new third platform um, cloud powered era, I would say. So as we know, um, we know now, we have, we will be having a, big, a, a data invasion. This data invasion uh, brought about by the third platform um, will bring about new needs in terms of storage. So we have new needs and both um, coupled with the old challenges that um, storage uh, was covering. We have the needs performance and capacity stretched to the limits and beyond, I would say. But also we have the current challenges increasing in, in importance, so easy manageability, easy deployment, scale, scalability. So which are um, the ways the storage market is going to address these new challenges, new and old ones? So here are plotted on the right, uh, the main systems that are going to see more development in the, in the future. And I plotted them with an the, um, expected cater. So we have some of these systems uh, addressing some of the challenges, some others are other challenges. So we have the flash market, we are all flash arrays, we have hybrid flash arrays, obviously addressing the performance point of view um, as a challenge. But not only, I would say, there's a huge uh, thing about the cost savings involved um, by flash, um, which is not uh, highlighted enough, I would say, in the market at the present time. So we still stick to the vision of flash for performance, but believe it or not, flash for cost will be a huge driver in the future. Apart from flash, we have um, scalability um, issues and manageability issues that will be addressed by high, um, software defined storage and its sub segment hyper converged systems. And um, my colleague Archana will talk uh, more about this. And then we have integrated systems. Integrated systems are um, the easy um, deployment system, um, the way you can quickly set up a system and have a single point of assistance, something that branches, for example, but anyway, also for private cloud, is a huge workload that integrated systems are taking over. So, finally, again, on the what, I just um, put a brief overview on the flash market, what we believe is going to happen from the flash perspective. So, as you can see, already flash, especially um, in the um, off flash, but also hybrid flash, is taking, is taking over the market. And we have already half of the market covered by flash, but by 2019 we expect more than 80% of the systems being in some way uh, flash powered. So all the primary storage plus part of the secondary storage will be covered by flash. 
What's, what's HDD? Are uh, they going to disappear? No, we don't believe they are going to disappear. For sure not by 2019, um, but they will be uh, mainly having workload where high capacity is needed and it will be obviously very, very cheap. So for this reason, they won't um, go away um, as soon as uh, some expect from the market. Um, finally, switching to the next question, how? So as we, as some of you actually uh, probably have already noticed, um, IT decisions are increasingly taken in the boardroom rather than only on the data center. What does it mean? It means that line of business is increasingly being involved in decision and rightly so. Because obviously, as I was uh, saying, the new, the new perspective is all about value and not only about tech anymore. In fact, and with this I will close with our recommendation, the first recommendation that I would, uh, I would like to suggest to vendors is to talk business, not tech. What do I mean for that? So, um, I, as I mentioned, line of business will be increasingly involved um, in the storage purchase. So, you um, vendors need to adapt communication in a way that is comprehensible, understandable, but by the way, especially um, focused on value. So, in the third platform area, what we have is that IT is recognized universally as a value creator. So why storage can't do <coughs> exactly the same? Storage needs to be highlighted as a value creator, as an enabler, one of the main enablers of the third platform area. For this reason, I really suggest vendors to focus on suggesting on, um, on the business feature of storage and not only on the tech features, and to learn to adapt um, uh, the communication accordingly. Then storage is getting fluid, so it's getting fluid in a way that is going to, uh, to be more adaptable. And we need a real a, a story which is um, being able to bridge different environments, as the, none of these environments are going to disappear. Cloud and traditional energy <coughs> will stay together for a while, so bridging technology obviously will be, uh, will be the main thing. And then position ahead um, for the third platform. So whatever is linked to mobility, security, analytics, and cloud, obviously, needs to be very well highlighted by vendors. Thank you so much for your attention. So that's um, obviously um, my email on that, in case you have uh, additional questions. And then um, I would like to pass you to Archan. Thank you, Gina.